Alright guys, today is WonderCon, and I'm at the Richmond Bike Station. Sorry, it isn't Japan with the nice subway or anything like that, but this is our Bay Area Rapid Transit, aka BART. It's freaking cold, it's windy, I don't like it. I can only imagine San Francisco is going to be worse. Actually, no, sometimes San Francisco is actually a little bit warmer than some, place, some places that are colder, surprisingly. But, my train's coming. So, I'll catch you guys when I get in the train. Alright, so we're at our destination. We are at Starbucks. America's number one fast food chain. That's my dark cherry mocha. Hey! So guys, the best way to get your Chinese food, Panda Express. Just kidding. I'm kinda digging this music. And so it begins with Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. There you go. And Indiana Jones, I think. Alright, let's get inside. I always gotta start with the burp, you guys know it. Anyway, we're in. And you always gotta have the stormtroopers. I'm gonna go take a picture. Because they're just cool like that. My mission is to find Vader. Lord Vader's gotta be here tonight. Alright, so it's halftime. Sorry I didn't record anything. I was too busy hunting things down. <coughs> I'm not sure if I'm done looking or not. But I'm pretty set with what I have. You guys will see it later. I didn't get as much as I was hoping for, but that's good because I'm saving a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, I got what I wanted, in a sense. Are you satisfied? Huh? Are you satisfied? Uh, not really. It's just like, since they don't have enough anime things, that's what I look for usually. But that's fine because I got a lot of free stuff. Like, I got free comics, I got a whole set of these, free other comics, I bought something else. I actually like original art a lot more, like art of Ali stuff. That's usually there a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna eat. Uh, maybe I'll have a round two session, look around, see what I can <laughs> see what I can find. Couldn't find any SH figure arts, so unfortunately I could not find Cyclone Joker. I was really looking forward to getting a Cyclone Joker and getting the package and be like, Cyclone Joker. But I guess not. So that's a bummer. I did get a Revoltech figure. I was going to get two, but I figured the other one that I was going to get might be a Fenime. So I'll wait. But the most important one I finally got. Finally, finally, finally. Alright, and, uh, and I got a Master Grade. I still, I still got enough money to get another high grade or two, but that's <laughs> probably not what I'm going to do. Anyway. Yep. There's a lot going on here. I'm glad we came on a Friday, because it feels... If we came tomorrow, Saturday, if we came Saturday, it'd be a lot worse. There's actually a Perfect Grade Double O Riser over there for 285 so whoever is lucky enough to have that money will have a double O riser without having to pay another couple 20 or so bucks for shipping. Or 300 pretty much near. Yep. There's a lot going on here. There's like games, there's tournaments. Got the mover is somewhere lost around here. I still have not run into him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna get go eat. Okay, so we, I think, are done with the exhibition room? Yeah, we're done with lunch too. Are you packing? I'm thinking of coming back, because there's still something I think I want, but I don't know. I'm looking around. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for a fan me, which is next month. Yeah. Under, yeah. No, they definitely have more. 
But I think we're actually gonna go watch Clash of the Titans in 3D. So I'm gonna go do that, and we'll we'll since this, there's not much in this video, I guess I'll compile both this and a Clash of the Titans review. So and if in case I buy, if in case I find anything else, I'll find that too, I guess. All right. See ya whenever I turn this thing on again. Alright guys, so I am home now. It's been a long day. I, uh, sorry, I don't know how I do it. Yeah, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm tired. But, I figured, um, since there's a lot of time, and um, I don't really have much to say about the movie, um, let me guys, let me show you guys what I picked up today. Now, first thing I'm going to show you, I did not pick up from WonderCon. I got the Iron Man uh, Mark IV. Mark IVs just don't get a lot of love in terms of the painting and things like that. So I finally found one, came across one at Target, or one of the Targets, the one I work at actually, and uh, picked this one up. So the first one, let me show you. The first one is Revoltech King Gainer, or Gainer, I don't, don't know. I don't know anything about this character, I honestly don't, but I like the way he looks. He looks weird. He looks like he's got a fish tank over his head with robotic dreadlocks. Yeah, it's a weird combination of things. Um, I'm gonna go look up what this character is, but I I love it. Like I love his posability. Well, judging by the pictures, I like how he poses and the weapon, this gunblade looking thing. This is really nice, and it's nine dollars and ninety eight cents. And, um, regular price for this thing is $23.98. That is one steal right there. But anyway, $9.98. I paid 10 bucks even because I had cash. Let me tell you right now, if you go to conventions, bring cash. You will save yourself some trouble. Trust me. Now, the second thing I've been waiting two years to get. Literally two years to get. Finally, I finally got it. Of all the stores that I've come across in this thing, I've always passed it up because it cost like 25 bucks, but I forgot what store it was, but 18 bucks. And for some reason, they, um, I don't know why they were able to do this, maybe because they're vendors and they just want to make money, but 18 bucks and I got it for, you know, with the tax, $19.50, which doesn't really make sense, but I guess, I guess 9.25% of eighteen dollars is a dollar fifty I guess I don't know but uh, yeah I'm happy about it I've already opened it I was just too excited so I opened it up I was, I'm really happy to have it finally now the last thing will probably surprise you guys it surprised me too and I'm actually it surprises me how I'm excited that I have it now you guys ready 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 are you guys ready I don't think you're ready because I'm not Yep, Master Grade Freedom. Um, let's see, yen retail price for this thing is thirty-eight hundred. I got them for forty. That is friggin' good for um, a model kit considered, considering it's imported. You know, tax and you know just it being, um, you know, being a thirty-eight dollar or thirty-eight yen kit. Usually, there's at least five or ten dollars extra added on to this thing. To cover like the the buyer shipping cost, no, forty bucks with tax. It was like forty three fifty or forty two fifty, something like that. I just had to. It was either this or the one year war version RX seventy eight two. But uh, Boss Robot, yeah, Boss Robot Hobby. I'm pretty much paying for the same thing anyway, because uh, he sells it for about forty two bucks. But I'm willing to spend the extra um, just because he's local and I want to support his store. So this is what I got. I picked it up, checked it out, made sure everything was fine, and it's perfectly fine. I absolutely love this, and I'm happy to have it. Um, but of course, first things first, I gotta finish the other kits. Uh, expect an unboxing video of this. Of course, expect a review of these guys, and of course him as well. So that's my loot. I didn't spend too much, but I'm glad, and I'm very satisfied at what I spent it on. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
I'm pretty sure that sticker reads 45 as in 45 bucks I think someone just saved me five bucks <laughs> Shh. don't say nothing <laughs>